of 48 wins, eight losses, two draws, 16 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, he is number three, world ranked lightweight in kickboxing. Please welcome Dave Johnston. Johnston. And in the red corner, another Southwesterner from El Paso, Texas, 31 years old, 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighs 141 pounds, and a record of 39 wins, 5 losses, 2 draws, 29 knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, he is kickboxing's first five-time world champion. He is ISKA light welterweight champion of the world. His name is Cliff Magic Thomas. Thomas. Both of these guys very and your referee fight. for this world championship bout, Tom Schlesinger. Ladies and gentlemen, kickboxing action. Cliff, over here, please, on this side, so I can get you. Right here, Cliff, please. Right here, fine. Gentlemen, you've both been advised of the rules prior to tonight's fight. Just a reminder, in the event of a knockdown, I'm going to send the standing fighter to a neutral corner. You have to stay there until I call you out. If you leave early, I'll have to interrupt the count. Any questions? Well, Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. John, obviously a thing that we're going to look for here is uh, the kicks of Davy Johnston. All uh, 18 of his KO, 16 of his uh, KOs have been by the kick. What about Magic Thomas? What do we look for from him? Well, I think he'll want to work in and try to put uh, Dave Johnston in the ropes and work his hands on him. Uh, Cliff is real strong to the body. He really works the body hard. He'll, he'll throw kicks to the body. He'll throw a lot of hooks to the body. I think he'll just try to wear him down, thinking that, well, I'm stronger. Physically, I'm bigger. Round one. This is for the World Light Welterweight Championship. Good spinning back kick by Davy Johnson at the top. Caught Magic Thomas. Didn't hurt him, but certainly caught him. Davy Johnson in the blue, Magic Thomas. Cliff, Magic Thomas in the black. And there's another spinning back kick by Davy Johnson. As we said, very quick, very flashy kicks. Well, if, if Cliff Thomas has a weakness, it's that he's a little bit of a slow starter, typically. He can be hit in early rounds, it seems. And that's what you were saying in the, in the opening, John, about uh, he's not fighting in El Paso this time, his hometown. And that's going to make it a little tougher for him. You would, you would think that there would be no real advantage here in, in uh, Lake Tahoe. This is sort of a neutral site for both fighters. But for some reason, Cliff Thomas seems to fight better in El Paso than he does anywhere else in the world. That spinning back kick by Davy Johnson landed solidly into the lower stomach of Cliff Thomas. Good left hand by Davy Johnson landed well on Cliff Thomas. And as John said, Cliff Thomas does not start always at his highest rate. One minute left in round number one. The first of a scheduled 12 for the World Light Welter Championship. Now there's an example, as you said, John, where Davy Johnson's trying to throw that kick and Cliff gets in there too tight on him. Yeah, if he slides in on that spin kick like that, as long as Dave Johnson throws it like a spin hook kick, he'll be okay. If he throws it tight and he throws it like a thrust kick, a spinning thrust kick, he can catch Thomas on the way in. The left hand underneath there by Cliff Thomas, that kick blocked, but Thomas did land a good left in that exchange. One more. No, don't hold, don't hold. 15 seconds left in round number one. A good left hand uppercut there from Davy Johnston. And as we wind down, this is the first round. We'll come back for round two on score after this. Well, we are back here at the High Sierra Casino Resort and Hotel. And John, it is looking like that uh, Davy Johnston is a certain amount of pain there. And we're not sure why. You were speculating? It looked to me like it was his left hand. It looked like he was really wincing with pain with his left hand. I don't know if he, he caught it on the top of Cliff Thomas's head, but he looked. He obviously is in real pain over there for some reason. Bill Packer working with him in the corner. They're trying to calm him down, telling him, look, go ahead, go out there, use what you got left. Seconds out. One of the first kicks of the fight right here, David Johnson, go, spin second. hook, Stay back thrust please. kick that caught Cliff Thomas Stay right up under the chin. Stay back. Nice kick. You can see Dave Johnson is in pain here. Round number two, and John, you're right. Dave Johnson is in pain. He is fighting now from the right side, keeping his left hand back. We'll see if he uses it. Well, he threw it there. Nice jab on that. But again, fighting with his right hand forward, John, a hand that he would use more, you would think. Oh, watch the kick. Watch the kick. Let's go. Cliff Thomas there, an accidental low blow. 
I mentioned at the outset that both of these fighters are two of the top gentlemen in this sport. Uh, neither guy would, would ever purposely throw any foul techniques or any low kicks. And you almost wish these two guys would fight in, in different no, weight no, divisions back, because they would both be uh, absolutely great representatives of the sport, great champions. A couple of spin kicks, a spin kick there by Cliff Thomas, the second of two that he fired out. Well, Thomas now is starting to move. Every time that Dave Johnson throws that spin, Thomas, Thomas slips to his right and forward, and it just takes away the, the line, the angle on that kick. Countering right hand by Davey Johnson as Cliff came in there. Under a minute now to go in round number two. John, how'd you score the first round? I gave the first round 10 to 9.5 to Dave Johnson. I gave him a half point win on that first round based on the, that first and second hook kick. Hold, 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 work out. Well, we've got about uh, 45 seconds left in round number two. And John, I'm not sure. Good little left, left uh, hook in there from Davey Johnson. I'm not sure that I've seen the pain that we thought Dave Johnston was in, although now there we just saw a little bit of a wince, and I'm not sure why. It may be a knee or a hamstring. We may be wrong about the hand. It may have been instead, because he throws a good left hand there. It didn't see that hurt. Work out. Hands are free. Work out. Good kick into the belly by Cliff Thomas as well in there. We did see a wince of pain on Davey Johnston's face, and it was on, and now he seems to be working up and down on that right foot, as though, or on that right knee, as though it's bothering him there. I think it is something to do with his, his legs or his knees or his feet. Cliff Thomas with a good shot into the kidney there and wrapping a couple more inside. Cliff, Tom, uh, Cliff Thomas doing a little better in this round than he did in the last as we are staying here to go take a look at Davy Johnston's corner. Let's see if we can hear what it is that his problem, what his problem is. Let's see where it was going. Hey, Darren, that light's screwing up there. Well, Dave Johnson is coughing. Huh? You, you want me to stop it? Huh? You want me to stop it? No, I don't. All right. Just put it on a positive sense. Just relax, will you? Obviously, some problem. Relax, relax, relax. Okay, I can't kick with my left hand. Huh? Can't kick with your left either? It's got to be a knee or a hand. Yeah. Pressure on this side. Huh? He's front kick. He said he front kick. Start leaving with straight left hands. He's still carrying that right hand right down here. Okay. Blowing there. Seconds out. Well, you know, you have to admit, he said he can't kick with his left foot. You have to admit that takes a little bit of courage. Uh, you almost, he said he couldn't kick with the left or the right. I'm wondering if maybe it's a groin pull. That's what I'm thinking is maybe a muscle pull because, uh, if it, yeah, if he's having trouble throwing the right leg, if the left hamstring is, if the left hamstring has gone out on him, then the right leg would be painful for him. Absolutely and the left would be almost impossible. Well, and you can see as he comes down off balance off that spin kick right there, obviously he's having trouble kicking. And for, now there's the well, and then again, yeah. what can we say? A tremendous amount of courage here being shown by Davey Johnston as uh, now he's, a, he's a great fighter and he's been a great champion. It's a, it's a shame for him to be having this problem. He's really, that left leg is really yeah, hard. He's hurt. And there's just no two ways about it. How do you have it scored so far, John? Workout, workout. I gave the last round to Cliff Thomas on 10-9, so I've got him now ahead by a half point, 19 and a half to 19. And if, if all we're going to see is uh, Davey Johnston operating with his hands, he is at a severe disadvantage to Cliff Johnston. One minute left to go here in round number three. And as you can, you can see now, when he backs up, you can see that his left leg is hurting him badly. Yeah, he's having a hard time. He's, he's looking to his corner now. Yeah, he, he really doesn't want to. We're going to call that a slip, but he's hurt. Go. He's saying, no. Uh, he's saying, no. Uh, it's over. Yeah, that's the only thing to do. You know, there's, there's only so much that courage will do for you. And the bottom line is, you can only hurt yourself further in this situation. And, and on the one hand, you know, you hate to see, well, a fighter should never quit. A fighter should never quit. I'm not sure that's true. Here's a kid who has obviously got some kind of a physical problem with his leg. It is, it is pointless for him to continue in this situation. All he can do is get injured. All he can do is injure the knee or the whatever it is more. Uh, 123 of the third round, he just said, hey, that's enough. And frankly, I think that's the right decision on his part. We're going to see right now, we're going to see the uh, right knee. Now, here's a... Here's a some action in the earlier rounds. Cliff Thomas is going to throw a kick. He's going to throw a kick, and it catches him right in that right leg. Yeah, it does. As he's going down, and that, I think that was the blow that, that finished everything for Dave Johnson. That's, that's a shame. That's a real shame. It is a shame, and it looks like now they're working uh, the shin just below the knee. A great shot there by our cameraman. And... Uh, well, it looks like he's had that knee wrapped. I bet you yeah. anything that he's had some previous trouble with the knee and, and just 
maybe went out in that first round because when he came out after the first round, he was in real pain. It was obvious that he was hurting. Yeah. Couldn't tell from what, but that's that's what we have is a bad knee. Clearly applying some acupressure there to uh, try to get a feel for what the problem might be. We'll come back and see if we can get some more information. We'll be back on score after this. Well, once again, we're back at the High Sierra here, Del Webb's High Sierra in beautiful Lake Tahoe. Coors Super Fights Battle of Champions on score as we have just come down to the end of the World Light Welterweight Championship match in which Davey Johnston had to retire because he has hurt to, in some way his right leg. Let's go up to our ring announcer now, uh, Randy Gase, for the official uh, decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Johnson unable to continue and after 100, uh, 1 minute 23 seconds of the third round, winner by technical knockout, Cliff Magic Thomas. Well, there you have it. And frankly, to tell you the truth, Cliff Magic Thomas is no more interested in winning a fight this way than, uh, than uh, 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 Davey Johnson is in losing it. These are two great competitors, great fighters. This is not the way either one of them wanted this fight to go. John Worley is standing up in the ring with both fighters right now, two of the great gentlemen. and. Uh,